Hey guys, this is Prak with iRepairMD and today we have a Phantom 4 gimbal flex that has been ripped. Uh, I have taken the Phantom 4 gimbal off and we're going to do a flex ribbon cable repair and this is the repair for EJ. What you're gonna need for this is an actual uh, DJI Phantom 4 flex gimbal cable. Uh, this is double layer. If you get anything from Amazon or from other places that's not double layer OEM uh, DJI, you will have issues. There's not enough power, and also some of the connectors doesn't align properly. So in order to replace this, you're gonna to need to buy a OEM part. If you can't get it, you can order it from my website, okay? And the link will be below. So for this tool, you'll need a screwdriver. And I took off the gimbal, and if you wanna know how to take the gimbal off the body of the drone, all you have to do is look at my previous video. I'm just gonna go cut to the chase and show you how to replace the, uh, pull out the bad flex cable from the uh, this uh camera and replace it with an, a new good one okay so let's go ahead and do that what we're gonna need first thing we're gonna do as we, as we're taking this out we're gonna have to do it methodically in other words i'm gonna take first i'm gonna work from the top and all the way work my way back to the bottom all right so if you follow my video this is this will not be edited this is strictly a straight install. I'm gonna go ahead and take the ribbon cable off. Let's make sure that this is in perfectly good working condition. And this is the DJI double layer cable. As you can see, it is double. The one I'm pulling out was actually installed by the customer and his is not double layer. His is just straight up regular flex and that's where the issue is. It's it's is not a OEM uh, DJI product. So let's go ahead. First thing we're gonna do is take this plate off right here and access the internal component. So we're gonna need a fill up for this one. Then we'll go ahead and pull out my fill up screwdriver. Okay, so with this one, I'm using my wow stick. Uh, I'm not going to use the motorized portion because I want extreme torque control. So what I will be doing is just loading the uh, fill up bit into here. All right. So now that I'm locating the fill up. Let's go ahead and take the fill up out of this one. This is a magnetic screwdriver. Well, it's not now. I didn't bother charging it, but what you do is when you pull this out, just make sure all the screws along with the part that it represents is out. Okay, and then what you have is these two, these screws here, and what you're gonna need to take out would be the these the fill up here. Okay, take this from the core. Actually, I'm gonna leave this core right here. All I will be taking out. On the two sides right here one two three side and these two clips right here okay so let's take the three out first okay okay once we have 
that working. Now let's go ahead and access the uh, two plates right here, the two Phillips screws that is holding the plate in. All right. Now I have that pulled out. Let's shake it up a little bit. Trying to free the plate. Okay, now you pull the plate off. The screws are still tucked in here. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the back and access these. And these, we're using a T5 torque. Let me pull out my T5. Five top screw. All right. Oops, this is a little smaller. That's correct. You can switch the screw head here. T5 torque in. Okay. Now been having a uh, allergy. I was outside working with um, building my kids uh, new chicken coop and I've been getting um, these hay fever. <laughs> so my nose is a little runny. All right, so now you have this off. To torque off, go ahead and pull the plate. Carefully pull out the plate. All right. So what you have now, you have this camera here. We're gonna go ahead and just separate the cameras for now. There and now, we have this ribbon cable connector. The uh, flat end, and what we're gonna use is a dull-sided tweezer, like this. All right, so now let's go ahead and release a clip. Go ahead and pull the clip up carefully. Once the clip is raised, carefully lift the cable out. All right, notice how it wraps around this way. All right, so now we're going to go and pull this off. And let me, while I have it off, let me show you the difference between the OEM and the knockoff. If you spend 20 or 30 bucks, you're gonna have the knockoff. The knockoff is single strand, and it, the connector does not always align, and the power is weak. The OEM one, you can see it's split into two. So this is the original. And that's the only way, this is what I always recommend. Use the original part to repair it. Do not take any shortcuts. You will pay a little bit more, but you'll, in the long run, you'll end up saving a lot of money because you have done. You would have done it right. So again, always use the original. As opposed to the, uh, the knockoff. The knockoff will not work properly, I guarantee you. Alright, so so the way you align it, okay, so let's go ahead and pull this off. Let's go ahead and place the the new one in. So I'm gonna replace this in here. Okay. Go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and set this, the new cable in. I'm gonna slide it in. You see this white line right there? That is an indicator. You want it to, when you close the clip, for the white line to disappear like that. Okay, and now what you wanna do is wrap carefully, put the flex gimbal around. Okay, do it carefully. Okay, so now there's an adhesive on the other side, so what you want to do is carefully 
this is where you flex. So you see the little rectangle, white rectangle? That is a point where you actually adhere against the side wall, and this is where you adhere around the shaft. Now you loop it one time around. Okay, so one time around, around the loop, like what I'm doing now. Be very careful when you loop this not to rip any cables in the process. Okay. And now, once you have that around, let's go ahead and actually expose this adhesive. Okay, here. Expose the adhesive. Carefully peel off the adhesive. Go ahead and adhere it to the the yaw arm. I mean the uh, pitch arm. Okay. So now what we're going to do is run this behind. Make sure everything is behind now. And then we're going to put the camber assembly, the camber assembly back in. So now I'm pulling this behind. This is the old cable. This is the new one, okay? Now let's go ahead and put the camera assembly back in. And let's go ahead and put the flex cable back into here. So I'm inserting this until the white line disappears. And then I'm gonna close it to lock it in place. Now, let's take this, this a little, there's a gasket here. This is a auxiliary port. There's a connector that goes, that has, that's a push-in connector. And then the male and female is on this side. So we want them to rest together to engage. Okay. So now we carefully set it back in. And now you have the auxiliary port right here. And let's put the cap back on the report. Okay. Oops, this way. Okay, cap back on the auxiliary port. Now put the uh, penelope screw back in. The four that we took off. Right, and these are the four long ones. Okay. Put three for now, and I'll put the fourth one in. nice and secure now we're gonna go ahead and work on the the yaw arm portion so let's go ahead and we're gonna pull the good one out, out, out of the way and now the bad one we're replacing with we're gonna slowly peel it off let me have access to this I'm gonna fold this through okay so the good ones on top the bad ones right here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and open the the yaw motor assembly right here. The back and there's four screws for that one. Yeah. 
and DJI has uh, made quite an improvement since the uh, Phantom Vision series. They built the yaw arm more robust, but you still have the, uh, the issue of this splitting or the ripping of the cable. So you, um, I, I, I make the, uh, the guard for it and the gimbal guard is ideal if you're trying to protect your thousand dollars investment and you don't want to in the event of a heart crash or a, a branch contact you really want to have the the uh, guard there because it protects it from being ripped this is a little brittle but the connector should be fine okay now let's go ahead and put this back into place place the sheet now All four connectors in. The customer also wanted a, a guard, a gimbal guard, which I will show you how to install, and you can purchase that from my site also. All right. I appreciate all the comments that you guys have given me. Uh, I'm glad that these are. Uh, tutorial videos help you. Uh, this is a guy in North Carolina who actually uh, have now a lucrative business because of this tutorial set of videos. He's the only game in town so he's been repairing people with drone. And I'm happy I can help out. Uh, you guys can definitely help me out. Uh, continue to would like to continue to make these high quality videos, tutorial videos, what I need is your subscription and that's all for now. I do have a Facebook and I will update my Facebook occasionally with new tips that's not located on my YouTube. Alright, so now we have that done. Let's go ahead and um, put the... the uh, the guard or the uh, the flex cover back onto this this one here on the uh, top half. So I'm gonna go ahead and slowly slide in. One. What I don't want to do is damage the flex cable. So let's go ahead and slide in carefully. Okay. Now do have it in. Let's go ahead and put the Phillips screw back onto this head and let's screw it back on. Okay, this is the other Phillips screw. All right, excuse for my dry hand, I've been working outside. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put the back on there's a tweezer first these screws are awfully small okay all right <laughs> Have to position myself around the camera but I'm trying to make this so you can see it I want you guys to have the uh, first person point of view as if I'm looking at it so I'm putting a camera in front of me I'm trying to maneuver my hand around the camera and work around it but I find that this angle is probably the best angle for this so you will understand it completely and you can follow through for many of you who watch my video who owns a drone and has need this repair and I'm definitely hard to get hold of unless you live in Richmond Virginia in the States it's kind of hard to ship it to me so I'm making this video for all of you other guys and girls who are 
in another country and uh, spend a, a substantial amount of money to buy this drone when you have this issue DJI turnaround around is three to four months and uh, it's always a good idea to be able to repair it your own all right so now we're putting the cap back on Bring the cover back on all right okay one more screw here Okay, so now we have that set up. Now what we're gonna do is disengage. We're gonna go on the back side of this. And so what we need to take out are these brackets. You need to take these brackets out here. Also, there's a bracket here that we need to remove the flex cable from. Let's go ahead. First thing we're gonna do is go and take the, the bracket that holds the um, dampeners so this is the plat the white sheet metal thin sheet or sheet thin aluminum bracket and this is the flex cable here then you have the L bar right here and that is a fastener for the dampeners let's go ahead and remove that carefully. All right, play it out. Now, what you have is this chip right here. All right, let's go ahead and release that connector off. Let's put this on the side. Then you have the plates here, and there are four screws holding the plate in. Okay. Let's go ahead and disengage the plate. And that should give us access to the actual camera portion of the three axis gimbal. And then we can run the loop the wires through the bottom side. It is a tight fit, so we need to actually dis to disengage the camera from it. Use my tweezer to recover the screws. Okay. That's the other one right here. Let's pull it out. Okay, so now we have this. Okay. Now we have the great portion of that off. Now what we need to do is Go ahead and we're gonna to need to remove two felt down here. So we can run the cable through. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna need a longer screwdriver. So I'm gonna use my the standard one that I get for the iPhone package. I'm gonna go ahead and take the plate off. There you go, and take the other one. All right, now we can lift the plate off. This plate right here comes right off. Tilt this over a little bit. Now you remove the plate. Okay. Now, again, this is the new cable. And then this is the old cable. So what we wanna do is take the old cable off, again, I'm doing this, I don't want to take completely up. I'm taking one section at a time. So give me you guys an idea when you do work on this, it's a good idea to work from top to bottom. And as you're removing the old one, you're replacing it with a new one, okay? So now this is disengage. Let's go ahead and expose all the adhesive. And now all we have is the new flex in here. 
and you want this to you want the adhesive to actually align the flex carefully with the uh, gimbal arm okay this is a pretty strong adhesive all right here we go so now everything is nice and adhering see this is the area where it always rips and and if you mishandle it or forget to insert the guard run into a bushes do a hot landing this will rip and then you have a useless gimbal so that's why I have the uh, the gimbal guard to remedy that now let's go ahead and this goes on the other side you see this right here double side adhesive let's go ahead and expose the adhesive now like so and now we're running this on the other side of this and so there's a little notch right here so you want to match the notch the two notches all right so now i'm carefully matching the notches all right now i have that now there's a perpendicular shaft and we want to go ahead to line that up and also there's another notch here we want to match the notch to notch okay so now that's make sure the notch matches the groove and now you want to put your adhesive you want to put your flex rug against the adhesive right here okay so now you have this already done now it's time to put it back into the assembly okay but before we do that what we're going to do is go ahead and take the old connectors off so you'll need to remove four Phillips screws okay like I have here and there is a plastic bracket right here and that clear plastic bracket is the uh, the reset or the uh, control uh, linking or binding button make sure you put back that into place also all right, put this in a safe place. Okay. All right, be very careful. Use this tweezer if you need to. Make sure all the screws are accounted for. You don't want a screw to be loose inside the gimbal while you're flying it. It can cause a short or damage the uh, components inside so there's a connector right here so you want to lift it up disengaging the connector and this is the fan cable and now you have the two connectors here this is a lift connector one and use this other plate right here and it's going to lift that connector up. It's going to pull this off. All right. So now we got the old crappy flex off. Now we're going to install the new one. So let's go ahead and put this in carefully. Run it through. Okay. Now we're at the top end. Make sure we have the Gimbals align. So now what we should have is the gimbal facing this way in all direction. And so what we're gonna do is line up all the screw holes here. Once we line up the screw holes, we're gonna put the Phillips that we took off back in. Alright. Let's go ahead and put the Phillips back in here. Okay, go ahead and tighten it. It's kind of hard to align. All right, so 
once you see it drop it in and tighten it you're gonna need a tweezer for this one all right now I have that in place so it screws in okay always a trick to align this thing it's hard to see so make sure you get it all in and then you turn there you go once you get one in you're able to tighten it so everything else all the rest is secure then you can drop the rest in and this is the uh, the dampener plate it's how the main gimbal is connected the three axis gimbal is connected uh, the components now kind of like built halfway into the drone so you have less area to damage the main logic board is now inside the belly of the drone as opposed to the uh, Phantom 3 and Phantom 2 series where it's the main logic board is outside and the gimbal underneath the drone all right, that is done here. Let's go ahead and put the, let's go ahead and run the uh, connector back in. So let's go ahead, set the flex cable to the cable here. And now got that done, let's go ahead and we're gonna Put the T bracket back on. T kit T bracket is going to be resting on top of this right here. Let me go ahead and pull this out. Okay. Oops. Let's put this in. Okay. All right. And and tighten it. Okay. Tighten this one. Also. And this one. Okay, now go ahead and put the two connectors back in. And make sure the white line actually recess into the connector. Okay. Like, like that. Don't force it too much. Now lock it. Press it down to lock. All right, so now we can go ahead and put the plates back on too. I'm going to rest the Kimball right underneath. So now you have this plate that we took off. Okay, and let's go ahead and put that into place. All right. Place the other one. Also, oops, it's actually the other way around. We have these the longer plates on this side. All right, mistakes happen. So now, yeah, this is what we want the longer one on this side. Okay. in almost done with this repair these tiny screws are really hard to work with 
should have magnetized my screwdriver, but I don't want to damage any component. It could be sensitive to magnets. So, I'm just gonna have to deal with this. Doesn't help that I just finished a cup of coffee prior to doing this. My hands are a little shaky. All right, so this is all done. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and put the logic board back in the connector. So I'm gonna align the connector here, press down to lock. And now we're gonna put the, the binding uh, clear uh, button, the clear bracket back in. And screw it up. Okay. Now we have two more screws here on top. One more here. Now, we just have to put the cap back onto here. So here's the cap. I'm aligning it back in. So now it's aligned like that. Now I'm gonna drop the screws back into place. Okay. One screw here. And then the other one in now. Tighten the screw up to make sure the cap is secure. All right. All right, now the cap is secure. And all that's left to do with this is to install it onto the drum. So now we have the drone body. Let me clear the table a little bit. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead, put this back in, okay? This drone, however, did not have the bracket that's supposed to rest on top, but we're gonna go ahead and put the connectors back on. And we're gonna do the best we can with this trout. Right, so let's try to get the best angle for you here. All right, so this is probably the best angle I got. Let's go ahead and put in the connector into place and rest this in here. Now what you're supposed to have is a metal plate right here. Screw this into place. And once that's in, you go ahead and slowly snap this back on like so okay then it's snap and then you have penelope 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 on, on the front here and then two on the side and then that should be it let's go ahead and test this see if it works all right so now Let's go ahead and test this out. There we go. Oh, flex working. Let's go ahead and test the camera feed. Oops, there we go. Now, just put all the main screw back onto the drone. There are six screws. There are, I 
actually there are six the eight screws four on top and four on the side two on each side and there's two sides so that's four we can go ahead and apply to the top one first Alright. Let's see here. And after this we're gonna take it outside, do a quick test flight. Make sure everything's okay. And then we're going to ship it back to EJ, who lives in Texas. Move the uh, this a little insulator copper copper tab that was a little bit in the way. Let's go ahead put that into place, and this is the final screw. all done let's go take it outside and test it all right I'm go ahead and launch Phantom 4 where is the DJI 4 app here you go now let's go ahead and get the feed and that's the feed there and control the camera all right there we go so camera is getting a feed everything is working well all right it's stabilizing let's pull this up camera and start tilting it left right center everything is working all right now let's go put the screw back on Okay, so now we're in my backyard and what we're going to be doing is uh, testing the flight. They put an SD card in the drone, but I'm going to verify it from my controller here. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, so now we have the green light. Let's go ahead and launch the drone up. So that's above the trees. I'm gonna adjust it a little bit more and try to get the exposure right. There you go. Now this is an early morning flight. Let's adjust the camera. There we go. Looking down. Property. Just exposure, make it brighter, and now it launched a little higher. Test the range of it. Everything's great. Pretty good range. Height right here. Um, 
going about pretty high up there. And we'll bring the drone back for landing. And this test is done. And here comes the drone. A little touchdown landing. Bring it closer to me. The position landing on my deck. So the optical positioning is looking great. Now I'm gonna land it. There we go. All in all, perfect repair. This is Prack with iRepairMD. Save repair.